Uh, just talk about the uh, first first game, first game here, all of that. What kind of butterflies, excitement? Uh... Well, I came into the game incredibly nervous. Like I think as everybody was on the team, but especially as a freshman, I was kind of surprised with. Um, being a starter in my first game and so I came in just I wanted to connect a few passes in my first couple touches and just get confident get some passes under my feet and then I was able to really play like I did and um, it worked out and my nerves like it was bad in the beginning but I, once I started playing I just forgot about it and the adrenaline really took me through. And the way everything goes, the course of the match ends up kind of confirming your decision. You must have felt uh, very good to be here. Oh, I love it here. Yeah, I'm very happy. Preseason was a, was challenging, but it actually was a lot more fun than I expected it to be. And it was a lot of soccer, but I feel fitter and better than I ever have before. Is that pretty much what you bring to the game, keeping things simple, settling the game down, a lot of good touches? That's what I like to think. I like to think that I'm a distributor, so I'm not the one that's going to dribble everybody on the other team, but I'll get a touch and play it out and maybe make a penetrating ball like I did to Jordan Pollock, which led to the first goal. Can you maybe expound on that, that first goal a little bit, uh, what you saw from your perspective? Well, um, I think it was Shay Desmond that laid the ball off to me, and I had like three players coming at me, and I saw out of the corner of my eye Jordan Pollock running up the flank, and so I just like touched, I passed into her, and she took a touch, and she, it was a beautiful cross in, and Alex had an easy finish, and it was a great finish. And certainly the momentum carried over real quickly. Uh, what did you see on Hadley's score? Oh, Hadley, she did a typical Hadley where she was able to receive the ball with pressure on her back and turn, and she just does what she does well, and she finished. Certainly not a lot of shots on goal in this game, but Clara made some key stops in the first half, uh, really, when Toledo had the momentum. Yeah, Clara really covered us when we were a little bit razzled in the back, but um, once she really, she, she covered us there, but I think later on we were able to to settle things down and really get into how we are supposed to defend as a team. Thanks for the time, Emma. Congrats Thank on the win. You. Thank you. The way there's so much closing down going on, I was wondering how many chances there would really be in the game, but uh, obviously the team is pretty patient and looking for the chance. Uh, you know, I think the way we set ourselves up initially, and uh, we had leaked a few too many goals last fall, so we certainly, uh, you know, approached it to ensure that we weren't as open. And you know, sometimes in the, in the game, when you approach things like that, you you get create opportunities for the opposition by giving them too much time and space. Um, you know, Claire Kreidler, our goalkeeper, had to come up with two or three very very good saves early on in the game, um, and so we made a minor adjustment and pushed a couple more players forward. I think the athleticism of uh, our front line caused and posed them some problems. You know, their back line, and uh, you know that's how we ended up uh, creating goals. And I think also getting the run of the play over the course of the second half. Play. Um, and uh, so, you know, it, what we talked about, we all all preseason was a, a focus on first person defending. And I think it was disappointing over the first half that we were arriving second. You know, a large amount of time. So it's something that we certainly will go back and address over the next week. Could you talk about uh, writing something about uh, the new beginnings, the, the kind of the special feeling about the beginning of the season, the first game? You've been through a lot of these, but you still get the butterflies for these. Without a doubt, and even even more so when you've got a young team. When you know we've we've got a side that graduated eight seniors last year. You know, it was a group of young women that hey, you can look at them and you can say, hey, you remember that game last year when we tweaked this and we did this different? And they look at you in the eye and they're like, yeah. And they can just adjust to something. But when you've got a younger side, you. You're trying to fill your entire preseason and every practice, trying to put as much information and everything in. So there's always that that little bit of like, how how prepared are we? How how mentally prepared, physically prepared, technically and ready for the pace and the physicality of the game. Um, in addition, you add to that um, opening uh, the new facility and everything with the crowd, and uh, so certainly I think um, some stressors outside of just the uh, 11 v 11 on the pitch. And then uh, just one thing, team win, I realize, but uh, how about Emma Lancaster coming in the way she settles the game down? Uh, I must be pretty excited about her. Yeah, you know, uh, when I, I recruited, uh, I I was uh, roommates with uh, Emma's uh, club coach a long, long time ago, and I uh, had plenty of opportunities to watch her play. And she's, uh, she's a little Spanish, Barcelona-esque uh, central midfielder. If we could plot five of those down in the midfield, you'd have a tough time taking the ball off of us. But she's got great vision. She's clean technically. I thought she adapted to the college game very, very quickly. You saw some, uh, I think, some hesitant touches in the first half, just like, hey, where I go? But certainly I think it, it progressed and developed, and I think she's going to be a stalwart for us uh, moving forward throughout the season.